I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list within a lesson plan template if you choose to use it that will make writing your lesson plans and choosing the standard very easy. So what you need to do is click on one of the empty cells and we're going to go to data and then choose validation. Now the criteria is the one that we worry about. So we want a list from a range so I'm going to just click on this get data range. I'm going to click, let's just say I want to insert all of my English language arts core curriculum standards for second grade. So I'm going to click on that worksheet at the bottom. I'm going to highlight those cells that I want to appear. So maybe if it's my writing, I might even want to break this down more, but at least you'll know how to do that. So I've selected all of that information. I say, okay. And you can see that now I have the range from that cell. I'm going to display it and I click on save. Now, if I go back to my lesson plans, you will see that I've now created a drop down list and it has all of those common core standards that I selected. And then I can just click whatever standard I might want to include in my lesson plans. So I'll just choose this one. And now you can see it's automatically populated for me. So this is an easy way to get those common core standards into your lesson plans by using a drop down list.